Welcome to e Nohal. In this video, we will look at a CMOS NAND gate, its digital operation, and uh, the W by L ratio in the CMOS of the transistors in the CMOS NAND gate. So, symbolically, uh, the CMOS NAND gate is represented like this with two inputs or two or more inputs, and then we have an output, say, I call it Y. And say in this case, I take two inputs, A and B. So you could have a gate with like say four input NAND gate, which has one, two, three, four, four inputs, A, B, C, and D. So now let's consider the two input NAND gate. So now if you write the, the truth table for this, so we have A, and B and Y. Now we have uh, two different combinations uh, for each of the inputs, so which will make four different combinations at the inputs. So both A and B can be 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So in this case, the NAND gate is just uh, the basic uh, gate from which an AND gate is constructed. An AND gate is when when you have, say, AND gate, say Y bar, just call that. So AND gate is, the output is high when both the inputs are high. Otherwise, the output is low. So in a NAND gate, it is the opposite. So you have, the output is high when at least one of the input is zero. If both the inputs are high, the output would be zero. So this is what we are looking at right now. This is the NAND gate here. Let us see how it is constructed using the CMOS uh, transistors. So a NAND gate has two PMOS transistors in parallel connect the bulks of the PMOS to VDD this is VDD or the supply and we have two MMOS transistors in series this is for a two input NAND gate So this is the connection here. So you have A, input A, and input B, and you have the two uh, NMOS devices. And from an analog point of view, we can see that the bulks are connected to ground. This is ground. Now this is the output Y. Now let's look at the different conditions here. So let's take the first condition when both A and B are 0 or at ground. So when both A and B are at ground, both the NMOS devices, so I'll call this M and A, M and B, and then I'll call this MPA and MPB. So when both the inputs are at ground, so we take this condition, when both the inputs are at ground, both M and A and M and B are off. So both M and A and M and B are off because the VGS of the NMOS devices is zero. So both are off and then if you look at uh, the, the top, the PMOS devices, so VSG P for both the PMOS A and B both both of them is VDD. So both the PMOS uh, both the PMOS uh, transistors are on. So your output would be high one or VDD. And now let's take the second case. Let's take the second case where you have 
A is ground but B is B is at VDD. So when A is ground M and A is off M and A is off and this will block the output Y from the ground. So this is M and A is off even though M and B is on because B is at VDD so for M and B VGSN uh, for the uh, M and B is VDD even though this is on so you get ground up till this point but the Y cannot go to ground and whereas on the top if you see because one of the input M and A the A is A is 0 so MPA is on which will short the output to VDD here so you get you get a 1 at the output and the same thing for the other case where you have you have B is 0 and A is 1 so A is VDD and B is ground if B if B is ground M and B is off and it will block any it will block the output Y from going to ground but since uh, B is 0 so B is 0 MPB is on which will short which will short the VDD with the output Y so you again have 1 on the output now if you take the case where both A and B are at VDD when both A and B are at VDD VGSP VGSP of AB is 0 so both the P channels are off so there is no way that uh, Y could go towards VDD and VGS N for both A and B that is M and A and M and B is VDD so both the M and A and M and B are on which that would short that would short uh, the output Y to ground so this is how a CMOS NAND gate operates but now let's look at the W by L ratios for the CMOS NAND gate so for an inverter we said that um, say you have an inverter and depending on the mobility of the depending on the mobility of the holes and electrons usually WP and WN say I won't say L L is L is dependent on technology so assume L is a 120 nanometer technology so L is 120 nanometer always so WP was always greater than WN because of the mobility and we said say approximately this is uh, 0.5 micron and uh, WN is say 0.3 micron now for the same 1x NAND gate what should the strengths of the uh, the devices be here so that's what we want to look at here so for the same uh, say 1x so now since the piece if you look at the P channel devices they only have one device in between VDD and the output so if you look at MPB it's just one device between VDD and output so what happens is usually WP of an AND will be equal to the WP of the PMOS transistors in, in the inverter because you only have one device between VDD and uh, the output whereas now if you look at the N side if you look at the N side it's a little different because you got M and A and you still don't get to the ground you have M and B to get to the ground so you have two devices in series two NMOS two NMOS in series now we talked about the on resistance of these devices now and on resistance are on we said it's proportional to the length so two NMOS in series which is as if you got a length of 2L so it is as if your length has increased so now what we have to do is we have to make uh, WN uh, in the NAND gate is 2x 2 times WN in the inverter 
So what happens is usually the Wn would be 0 0.3 micron multiplied by 2 is 0 0.6 micron. So now if you see that W, uh, w of MnA MnB would be equal to 0 0.6 micron and W of MPA and MPB will be same as that in the inverter which is 0 0.5 micron whereas in the WP of the inverter sorry I should have written it this way WP of the inverter is 0 0.5 micron and WN in the inverter was only 0.3 micrometer but now in the in the NAND gate it is doubled that is to keep the same on resistance and the time to discharge basically time to charge and discharge the capacitances keeping the same so we usually choose the in, in the NAND gates the the end transistors will have twice the width compared to the same size inverter.